Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to do another waste tank uh, uh, demonstration videos. After this video, uh, I get a couple of really cool things coming up. Please check out my channel after a couple of weeks. The Epson EcoTank ET4500 is a beauty. However, whenever you do a, a cartridge cleaning or print net cleaning, the print, printer is going to dump a little bit of ink inside the printer. And uh, in, the, in the same time, uh, the printer is going, going to remember how many ink is dumped into the printer. So once the printer is full, the, uh, the printer is going to display uh, a part of the printer service life is up. And uh, I will disable your printer. You cannot print anymore. It's going to ask you to contact uh, Epson to solve the problem. Actually, if you call Epson, Epson will tell you the printer is done. Throw it away, get a new Epson, and problem solved. So today we're going to solve the problem ourselves. There are two steps. The first step, you have to reset the counter back to zero. There will be a little bit of money involved, okay? And nothing's free. Um, uh, there are a couple companies can do this, but the one I trust is called Inkchip.net. And uh, when you go to the website and click WIC, that stands for With Ink Counter. So you can see if you just reset once, it's $9.99. Uh, however, if you want to like buy three keys, uh, reset three times, that's only like uh, seven bucks. Uh, and sometimes, uh, like uh, for me, I get a whole bunch of printers, I get five keys for like uh, $6 per key. And uh, that's the best deal. Uh, what I like about Inkcheck.net is their support. You can see on the website, you can directly, if you have a problem, uh, send them a telegram. And uh, there are many, many times they save my behind. And uh, before you go ahead and buy it, make sure that your model is listed here. So we're looking for ET4500, 4500. Make sure it is covered. OK, do not buy it yet. And you want to do another test, make sure that uh, your printer is going to work with this software. So we go to uh, download, a free download, and we choose English. I think their server is Mars or something. It always take a little bit of time for me to download. And I have a pretty fast internet. I don't know why. It just uh, it, it takes me like a, a good two, three minutes. Next step is run this uh, ink chip WSE. You just download it. And they'll ask you, it's unknown popular. Do you want to still run? Yes, uh, you want to run and you want to install. You will see this ink chip WSE on your desktop. However, if you double click and they say is cannot be found, it's because your antivirus uh, software ate it. Uh, I use Norton, so let's go check it. Uh, find the Norton icon, right click, and uh, you view history. Let's see, uh, the Norton, the, I mean, the, your under, antivirus, you might be too sensitive. See, uh, I use the, the, the program Wondershare or Filmora, which is a uh, legit um, uh, the video software is even detect data as as as, uh, as a bad software. So yeah, don't worry about it. So this one, see, uh, Inkchip WSC, that's where it killed it. And uh, I do have more options. And I do restore. Yes. Now I double click open, which shows nothing. I recheck uh, Norton's uh, history, and uh, certainly it's not Norton that has uh, been deleting this software. Check uh, Windows Security Center, and uh, nothing there. Everything looks fine. Uh, eventually, I remember I just installed this uh, malware bytes, and uh, that must be it. So let's quit the malware. Ma malware bats and uh, see if we can fire up the software. Oh, by the way, you have to reinstall the reinstall the, the ink chip and uh, because the mal malware bytes uh, it deleted the software. So reinstall and run. Uh, here we go. And uh, click the Wishing Tank counter and you should see your uh, printer 
in this drop down and uh, if it's not automatically selected click drop down make sure that you see the printer oh by the way your printer has to connect with usb uh, you cannot do wireless and now uh, with the printer selected click read uh, with encounter you're going to see how much ink is in the counter so if you see uh, it can read the counter now it's time to buy the key if you cannot read the counter do not buy the key go back to ink chip that night and uh, click buy and WIC adjustment program so I'm going to spend some money so I'm going to buy five keys yeah I don't have coupon maybe they should give me a coupon or something say so this printer uh, is is pretty new and uh, the the program will tell you the counter is okay so you don't have to reset it but uh, for the purpose of shooting this video let's reset it so I'm gonna waste one of the key that I bought here's the key and uh, pretty quick I'll set down please restart the printer and uh, let's restart the printer okay the printer restarted let's read uh, the counter see now the counter is reset to zero so we just finished step one however remember if you uh with ink if this tank is full that means physically uh, you have a whole bunch of ink to deal with inside the printer so let's take a look of those uh, with ink and uh, you can go by uh, see the back of the printer and you're going to find that this uh, screw remove that screw with a uh, philip number two screwdriver and uh, use a flat uh, screwdriver just pry from both sides and uh, the waste tank gonna fall out here's uh, what the waste tank look like at uh, 10 percent uh, imagine it's a hundred percent that the whole thing will be soaked and you can take the sponge out just wash underneath the water it's not really a clean business and uh, um, you can also uh, throw it in the in the washer and dryer uh, if you're there if you throw it in the in the washer um, uh, have a, uh, put it inside a pantyhose and then throw it in the washer uh, if your wife wears a uh, black pantyhose she won't, she won't notice shake off the excessive water and uh, then just leave it dry under the sun it take about a day or two if you don't want to do this uh, uh, a better solution is so you can install an external tank so the waste ink will go to the tank when the, it's time to change you can just dump off the waste ink uh, go to bchtechnology.com and uh, go to accessories and uh, waste tank is kind of confusing it's not this waste tank it's not the waste tank for resetter it's the waste tank so click this and uh, what you really need is this little thing uh, you will need a tube to, to connect to the connector and uh, then you dump the uh, uh, waste tank uh, waste ink into a tank uh, or like a bottle uh, or you can just buy the whole kit the whole kit has a connector a tube and uh, bottles and a little bit of vacuum that you can stabilize the the bottle on the printer or on the on your table uh, today i'm going to use this 25 millimeter uh, kit uh, since we already took the waste tank out so if you look underneath you can see a hole where the waste is coming out so we can insert a connector right into this hole when you insert just twi twist it do, do not push it in just twist it it will, it will fit in perfectly okay now get the connector out and uh, that works so we attach the tube on it and there will be a tight uh, kind of tight fit so just push 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 it a little bit and now we do the same thing and we twist and turn and insert and make sure it's really secure and uh, do not do this if you do this the ink the ink will dump on your table so twist and turn and make sure it's connect really really secure and uh, you can try to pull, pull it a little bit see if you can pull it out so when you get a get kind of fully connected you cannot uh, pull it out easily okay that's done 
There's a little opening on the right side, so you can just uh, do put a tube here. So when the printer lay on the table, uh, it will not uh, cut the tube off. Use a Velcro square to attach the bottle somewhere to, so that the bottle will not tip over. And cut a hole on the top of the bottle and uh, then thread the tube in. That looks nice. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of uh, head cleanings so you can see uh, what it looks like. So now when you clean the printer, the ink will no longer go to a pad and it goes to this bottle. And uh, when the bottle is full, just take the bottle out and uh, dump it out. And that will save you a day or two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. There was a time not long ago when printer cartridges were so expensive. So expensive. Then PCH came out to play. The quality cartridges saved the day. Oh, oh, oh. Destiny